Blight blight is a serious plant disease that infects tomato and potato plants. While some weeds and ornamental plants related to potato and tomato can be infected, no other vegetable crops are susceptible to late blight. Both potato and tomato can be infected by other plant diseases that can be mistaken for late blight, but they are generally less destructive and are able to spread as quickly as late blight. In this video, we'll show you how to tell the difference between late blight and other plant diseases. Some common imitators of late blight are early blight, septoria leaf spot, buckeye rot, phytophthora blight, sonate leaf spot, leaf mold, and gray mold. To learn more about identifying and scouting for late blight, see Identifying and Scouting for Late Blight on Farm. One way that may help distinguish late blight from other diseases is to look at plant parts affected. Late blight can infect leaves, stems, and fruit. Other diseases may only infect the leaves. When looking at infected plants, pay attention to what parts are showing symptoms. Another important identifier of late blight is its characteristic sporulation. When relative humidity is high, a fragile white growth, which is the spores of the pathogen, appears around or on infected areas. Put suspect infected leaves or stems in a plastic bag with a moist paper towel overnight, but not longer than 12 hours, to see if this characteristic symptom is present. All of the diseases we'll cover in this video look similar in their early stages and are difficult to tell apart. As the diseases develop, their symptoms become more distinctive and easier to distinguish from late blight. Early blight is a common disease on both tomato and potato. On leaves, early blight lesions are often angular in appearance, with edges bounded by leaf veins. Leaf veins don't tend to stop late blight, so late blight lesions have more rounded edges. Early blight lesions often have a target appearance, with dark rings of fungal spores producing the target appearance. Early blight can also infect tomato fruit around the stem, a second imitator is septorial leaf spot, which is another common disease that occurs only on tomato. It can almost be as destructive as late blight in very wet growing seasons. Septorial lesions are round, developing a tan or gray center with small black dots. These black dots are resistant structures that allow the fungus to survive in the soil over winter. Buckeye rot and Phytophthora blight are caused by pathogens that are related to the one causing light blight. Fruit symptoms are very similar, but in both cases, infected fruit are most likely to be found close to the ground. Buckeye rot occurs only on fruit, but Phytophthora can cause a brown lesion on the stem, which is close to ground level. This infection may cause the plants to wilt and eventually die. Another imitator is zonate leaf spot. This infection only occurs on tomato and only affects the leaves, but symptoms are very similar to late blight. Put suspect leaves into a plastic bag or container with a moist paper towel. This will allow you to see if characteristic late blight sporulation appears. Next is leaf mold. Leaf mold only affects tomato and symptoms are usually found on leaves. It's mainly found on tomatoes grown in high tunnels or a greenhouse, but is starting to be seen more often in fields. Symptoms start as pale green or yellowish spots on the top of the leaf. These spots eventually develop into yellow lesions that are restricted by the leaf veins. Velvety olive green masses of spores develop on the underside of these lesions. The final imitator we will discuss is gray mold. Gray mold can also cause symptoms on leaves, fruit, and stems, that look very similar to late blight. The fungal growth and spores produced by this pathogen appear fuzzy and gray, though very different from late blight. In addition, plants that are drought stressed can also have symptoms similar to late blight, but sporulation will not occur when placed in a plastic bag with moist paper towels overnight. We hope you've learned about the plant diseases that you might mistake for late blight on your farm or in your garden. While this is helpful, even experts sometimes have a hard time accurately identifying plant diseases. If you need help with diagnosing what's wrong with your plants, try your local cooperative extension office.
Each state also has a planned disease diagnostics lab that can help. If you confirm that you have late blight, please report it to the usablight.org website. 